Welcome back to the video series on electric fans. Hi, I'm Rod Schaub, and the topic for today is uh, fans. And there's so much information when we talk about dealing with with fence that we decided that we're going to break this segment down into maybe three videos. We're going to talk about permanent fence, then we'll talk about some gadgets and things we can put on permanent fence to maybe make it work easier, uh, and then we're going to talk finally about temporary fence. So we're going to start off with permanent fence, and when you build permanent fence, we want uh, to think about using high tensile wire. High tensile wire is very, very stiff, and uh, we prefer to use the 12 and a half gauge high tensile wire. We wanna make sure, as we've talked about in the past, that, that it's class three galvanized. Uh, and then there's, there's wire strengths that vary from anywhere from 170,000 PSI to 210,000 PSI. And, and the wire that's under 200,000 PSI is gonna be the easiest to hand tie. So we're, we've talked about we've talked about the kind of wire to use. Uh, let's talk a little bit about post. Uh, fence post, we can use everything from a, a steel T post to a hedge post, and they make other posts. Here's a here's actually a plastic post. Uh, it's plastic and wood composite. You have to make a pilot hole, you drive, drive it in the ground, you drill a hole here. You put the wire up, you put this clip over, and you stick it in. And, and then there's other kinds of, of posts, like this fiberglass post. This fiberglass post uh, can be used as, as a uh, permanent defense post. Just know that if you ever do come back and we use this, uh, over time, the fiberglass has a tendency to splinter. And so if you are going to use old or used fiberglass posts, make sure you use leather gloves so you don't get splinters in your hands. Now, the next thing that we want to talk about is insulators. And we have all kinds of insulators, okay? Uh, when you purchase a bag of insulators, there, you know, there's all kinds, there's all colors. Uh, try to find an insulator that has a 10 year UV protection warranty, okay? Uh, if you look here at some of these, these are some of the old type of insulators. You can see that the UV rays have really damaged them. In some instances, it's cracked them to the point that the electricity would shock through to the post. Uh, we sure don't want that to happen. So find you uh, uh, some of these 10, 10 year warranted uh, insulators. And then look also, and if you look here on the table, what color are most of these? Most of them are white or black. And uh, those are what you're gonna find typically that are gonna have the best UV protection. One thing that you don't wanna use if you are using high tensile wire and you do not wanna use the claw type insulator. Okay, it, that, that uh, uh, the high tensile wire is so stiff that you can't, you can't bend it to get it to fit in here, okay? So, so don't, use, don't use the claw type insulators. The other thing that you're gonna have to think about using is this spinning jenny. Guys, you have to have a spinning jenny. Um, and the way to load the wire onto that is you, you buy it in this 4,000 foot roll, you take it over and you put it on, do not cut the bands until you already have it on your spinning jenny, okay? Then find the inside wire and take it to the lock washer or the lock nut that's there in the center so uh, you always have control of that end, and then you want to find the outside end, and that's the end that you'll pull off and, and take down to the other end of the fence. So with that, I'm gonna wrap this segment up, uh, but there's a lot, we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, some of the other things that you see here on the table. And